how long has man been here? Evolution says that the earth is 4.5 billion years old and that humans appeared about a million years ago. Well, how does the evolutionist know this? Well, he can't. He wasn't there. There are no human writings or records that are more than 5,500 years old. The evolutionist can guess. He can speculate. He can manipulate evidence and findings, but he cannot be certain with any degree of accuracy whatsoever. Doesn't it seem much more scientific and just plain common sense to date man's existence on earth by everything that we know and that we can observe about man and the artifactual traces that he has left since his time on earth? Well, of course it does. This is how real science is done. Real scientific theory is developed from observable, collectible, verifiable evidence. However, to simply find the oldest human artifact known to man with relatively indisputable scientific accuracy as to its date does not conclusively prove that man could not have lived before that date, but it sure is a lot more scientific of a theory or speculation than the methods of speculation without means to prove that the evolutionist uses. So, consider the biblical record. Following the genealogies in the scripture, it has been estimated that man has been on the earth for about 6,000 years, and certainly no more than about 10,000 years. The Bible says that about 2,500 B.C., or about 4,500 to 5,000 years ago, there was a worldwide flood in which all but eight humans were destroyed. So there would have been human artifacts no more than about 10,000 years old, and the most modern of human artifacts, that is, after the flood, would be no more than about 5,000 years old. What does the real evidence say? Is there anything older than 10,000 years that is directly and scientifically linked to man? Well, let us examine the facts. The oldest city known to man is Jericho. By the way, a biblical city. The remains of the Old Testament Jericho are dated at no more than 11,000 years old, and many archaeologists say that it's more likely to be about 7,000 years old. Twenty-three layers of civilization have been unearthed here. Archaeologists have determined that there was a break in population here at about 2300 B.C., or sometime just after the flood of Noah. And then there was a repopulation here about 1900 B.C., or about 400 years later. The oldest known writings, scientists say, are about 4,000 years old, ancient Egyptian period. The Semitic writings, hieroglyphics. The word Semitic comes from the biblical Shem, who was one of Noah's sons. Semitic was first used to refer to a language family of largely Middle Eastern origin, now called the Semitic languages. This language was the root of Hebrew and Arabic, as well as several other languages of the world. This oldest known language did not appear until after the flood and was named after the son of Noah. The oldest known multiple page secular book. It is written in the ancient Etruscan language, a language that is now lost. It can be seen in Bulgaria's National Museum of History. It is dated at 2,500 years old. The oldest religious book known to man is the Old Testament of the Holy Bible. There are books within that collection of books that are some 3,000 to 3,500 years old. The oldest known code of law, the Codex of Ur-Nammu, King of Ur, around the year 2050 BC, and then the Code of Hammurabi, the King of Mesopotamia, around 1760 BC, and then of course the Ten Commandments, around 1500 BC, or about 3500 years ago. The oldest known man-made stone structure are the ancient pyramids of Egypt, 4,700 years old. 
the oldest known temples are from the ancient Sumerians in the area of modern Iraq, 4,300 years old. The oldest boat known to man is from the area of Egypt called the Abydos boat, 5,000 years old. The earliest known civilization arises in Sumer, about 4500 BC, or about 6,500 years old. The oldest calendars known to man? The earliest recorded date is in the Egyptian calendar, at 4,241 years BC, or about 6,241 years ago. The first year of the Jewish calendar, 3760 BC, 5,760 years ago. Even the ancient Chinese calendar is relatively young compared to these dates, 2100 BC. Nothing that man has left behind, cities, writings, books, religions, temples, civilizations, calendars, even boats, nothing is older than about 10,000 years and most are no older than about 4,500 years old. Nothing that is still living is any older than about 4,700 years old. Now to be fair to the evolutionists, there are several evolutionary claimed finds of prehistoric tools and living sites of early humans, such as the Barstow, California site. Evolutionists claim to have found tools over 100,000 years old by scientific means of dating. The first paragraph of this encyclopedia article ends with these words. The general scientific consensus is that the stones are geofacts. In other words, simply natural stone formations rather than man-made tools. The article then continues. In 1979, James G. Duval and William Thomas Venner published a statistical analysis of the stone objects, stating that they were not modified by man, but rather were form selected by the archaeologists. In other words, the archaeologists wanted them to be stone tools, so they picked only those stones in the area that could even remotely resemble a prehistoric tool. Evolutionists will also tell you that they have skeletal remains of hominids, human ancestors that are hundreds of thousands of years old. Again, these are bone fragments and small bone samples. There's no way to conclusively know these supposed dates. The dates are highly disputed in the scientific community and are speculative dates based upon the predisposed desire by the evolutionist for them to be hundreds of thousands of years old. Short of evidence like this, the evolutionist has no hard observable evidence of man's existence on earth prior to about six to ten thousand years ago. And what does the Bible say? That man has been here about six to ten thousand years and then repopulated the earth after the flood which was about 4,500 to 5,000 years ago. What does the real evidence indicate? Nothing verifiably and directly related to man has been here much longer than about 10,000 years. And most of man's archaeological footprints are not much older than about 5,000 years. So what scientific conclusions could you draw by the evidence that we can observe, catalog, document, and verify? The conclusion is that man has been here on earth no longer than about 10,000 years, and that most of man's greatest accomplishments did not show up until after 5,000 years ago. Both of these scientific, observable, recordable facts line up squarely with the biblical account of the history and record of man. Now this does not categorically prove that man is only about 10,000 years old at the oldest, but 10,000 years certainly does not even come close to 1.3 million years old, the time period that the evolutionist would have you to believe that man has been on the earth. The creationist is far more scientific in this matter than the evolutionist. But the evolutionist has hoped that you would never see this information, 
presented in a logical, scientific manner, such as this. This is what is called inconvenient science. <laughs>